workout class for the gym so today is one of my waking up later days because when i do a workout class for the gym i wake up before six but i sleep in a little bit when i don't do a workout because i'm just gonna go on a walk today but as you can see it's dark whenever i wake up because it's just getting darker and darker earlier and earlier now since it's fall and winter's coming it kind of sucks not being able to wake up like with the sun but at the same time it's also really cozy waking up when it's dark outside so you kind of have to try to look at the positive side of things but first thing in the morning i don't do any skincare i just rinse my face with water brush my teeth because i get sweaty when i work out or when i go on a walk anyways so i like washing my face and doing my skincare afterwards it just doesn't make sense to me doing it like in the morning right now so also i do not go on my phone in the morning i just turn my alarm off and leave my phone charging it's still by my bedside and i leave it there until i'm done my whole morning routine just because i used to have a bad habit of checking my phone first thing when i woke up but there's actual scientific evidence behind this that it's really bad for you to go on your phone first thing when you wake up because it like clouds your brain for the rest of the day and stuff like that doing phone free mornings really has changed my days and just made them so much better and i feel so much better because of it throughout the day it really just sets the tone and vibe for the morning to be really really peaceful and it's just me time especially this early at like 6 a.m nobody's on their phone anyway so it's kind of perfect time i'm not missing out on anything and you don't need to be reachable at all times so i actually have overnight curls in that i did with a robe that i'm just gonna take out right now before we go downstairs first two drinks in the morning i do not like drinking coffee right away i like to kind of cleanse my system first and make sure that i'm hydrated in the morning so i'm going to show you guys what i do my first drink is just a lemon salt water so i have a little lemon here and i'm just going to squeeze that in lemon is just super good i don't know for what but i know it's good for a lot of things and it also tastes really good, so. Okay, so now that I got the lemon squeezed, I'm gonna add some Celtic salt. Celtic salt is so much better for you than just sea salt. It has so much more minerals and it's very, very hydrating for your body and it's really good for your brain. So they say to have some every morning and it starts your day off, it hydrates you and it also gives your body like so many minerals that it needs. I just add like a little pinch. Celtic salt has actually been really hard to find because because it's been getting sold out everywhere but i found mine at roots natural market and it's a huge bag so i'm really happy i found it but definitely recommend using celtic salt in the morning because it makes the biggest difference now i'm just adding some filtered water but i'm only gonna do it till about like halfway ish and then the rest i'm gonna put the water that i just boiled just because i don't like drinking super cold water in the morning first thing i like just kind of diluting it making it warm and then i'm just going to mix it in with a straw 
and it is crucial if you're making this warm or hot to drink it with a straw just because warm lemon water ruins your enamel on your teeth or something like that it's not good for you so if you drink it through a straw then you're just like bypassing all that okay so for my second drink how cute is this little mug by the way I'm doing bone broth. This is a bone broth by Dr. Kellyanne. It has grass-fed bovine collagen in it, and I really, really love this brand. Not sponsored, but I will link, leave a link and a coupon code that I have for it down below because they have sponsored one of my previous videos. But I've been drinking their bone broth for so long now, and it's just an essential in my morning because it gives me so much protein in the morning, which is amazing, and if I'm working out that day or whatever, it like fuels me for that. So instead of drinking caffeine, this gives me the perfect amount of energy. And so I just pour the powder in here and it's that easy. And then I just gotta pour boiling water over top. I think my little hand whisk just cause it's easier to mix it and it does a really good job. And that is it, it's that easy to make it and it's honestly so delicious and yeah it's also so cozy and it just reminds me of fall and it's just nice having like a warm cozy drink in the morning especially because i don't want to have coffee this is like a great substitute so now that i have my drinks ready to go i got my bone broth and then my lemon salt water i love to take this time in the morning to just have a very very peaceful moment and just do my gratitude i love using the five minute journal and it just starts my day off on the best note i feel like it's really easy to just go through your day-to-day -day life like a robot and not look around you and realize how many things in your life that you're blessed to have and that you should be thankful for it's really easy to look at the negative side of things a lot of the time and focus on that put your energy towards that when just by a little switch in your mindset you can start looking at the positive things in your life and start appreciating those things and once you start doing that you will manifest so many amazing and greater things into your life very very easily gratitude is almost like a manifestation key because one of the steps of manifesting is to be very grateful for what you already have and once you are grateful for everything then that's when more abundance starts flowing in your life because if you have a negative mindset about everything and you don't really notice what's around you the universe is not going to provide you with more because it's waiting for you to realize what you already have and appreciate that and live in the moment starting my day off with gratitude is just the best thing because every single day at the beginning of the day i i'm not scrolling on instagram i'm not going on tiktok but i'm writing down like what i'm so blessed to have in my life and it really really does start my day off on the best note possible and then throughout your day if something bad happens it kind of puts a little seed in your brain to not focus on that because you already thought of all the things that you should be grateful for so then it's easier for your brain to kind of be more positive i will have one of these journals linked in my description so right now i'm just going to do my gratitude journal and then drink my lemon salt water and my bone broth and i like taking my time too like i don't like rushing anything because this is like my me time in the morning and it's just the best way to start my day so i just put my tv on to set the mood to set the vibe this is youtube but i just searched up fall ambient backgrounds and this is just playing some rain sounds some thunderstorms and it's fall themed and i'm obsessed with it it just romanticizes the morning and sets the vibe while i'm doing like all my morning routine stuff towards the earth. Close your eyes and take a moment to scan your body. Just gently seeing if anything wants to relax. So I just finished my meditation and I just feel so calm and zen and I just put the autumn 
rainy ambiance back in the background on the TV. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read. I love reading a self-growth book in the morning because it gives me a lot of motivation to start my day. And I don't do this every morning, but I do this on mornings where I just kind of have that extra time where I don't need to be at my workout class at a certain time. And when I just have a more chill, I guess, morning like this morning. And my favorite thing to do is put on an autumn ambiance, like if it's raining outside and get cuddled up on the couch in the morning with a good book. And I only read for about like 15 10 15 20 minutes depending on how long i want to but it's honestly so cozy and it honestly just like really motivates me for the day and again it's just like so peaceful in the morning to do and it's so nice to get like snuggled in the couch with a nice book and i feel like reading is just so fall reading is in season now because i don't know i just correlate reading with like cozy vibes and now since it's fall um, I am starting to read again and I'm starting to get back into books, so it's exciting. already in my cozy puffer and I have my leggings on and me and Joel are just about to go on a beautiful fall nature walk whenever I don't like work out in the morning or go to a workout class or whatever I love to go on some sort of nature walk like I still love to move my body especially in the fall because I am obsessed with how the leaves turn orange how they turn yellow and I love to immerse myself in nature especially during the fall because I just think that the trees changing colors are so beautiful and I just want to take advantage of it while it lasts and before all the trees become bare for winter. So I love to prioritize like fall cozy walks because you get bundled up, you could put your cute jacket or fleece on and go for a cute fall walk. And sometimes I'll even like get a Starbucks um, before I go and even go with a friend sometimes, but Joel will come with me sometimes and I usually never go alone because I don't know, it's kind of sketchy. I don't want to get kidnapped, so always be careful. But yeah, I just love doing fall nature walks. I just feel like it's the best time of year to go on a walk because it's not too hot, you get to be bundled up, and it's just perfect. Got my Uggs on today, and I'm all cozied up with my leggings and my puffer, and we're gonna go on a nature walk. Okay guys, I just feel so cozy now. That nature walk just hits the spot in the morning and it's just such fall vibes. I did this like every day last fall. I went on a nature walk and it was just the best thing ever. And it just really helps you like soak in and appreciate the season even more because you're seeing the trees every day but anyways so since i don't have breakfast first thing when i wake up i kind of let my body like i do a bit of intermittent fasting i guess and i think that it really works for me um i do have my bone broth but that's like just 
really really small and it just like fuels me for my workout and stuff now at this point in the morning i get really really hungry and i'm gonna cook breakfast i like switching up my breakfast every morning i don't really like having the same thing every day i like experimenting with recipes if it's fall i'll look up some cute like fall pancakes or something like that i just really like changing and switching up my breakfast but i always make sure that my breakfast is healthy make sure that i'm having something like nutritious with protein honestly breakfast is just my favorite meal of the day i look forward to it the most and yeah yeah, so I'm gonna make breakfast and then after we're gonna make a coffee. I'm thinking of making some egg turkey bacon tortillas with some salsa. These are gluten-free. I got them at Whole Foods the other day, but they're actually really good. And I wish I had a ripe avocado, but the avocados that I bought the other day are not ripe yet. So I would add that in there if I had. This is the brand of the gluten-free tortillas that I'm using. my little breakfast tacos i just put turkey bacon eggs and then salsa but they're so good if you have avocado definitely add it in but so yummy i'm just gonna eat this now and then we'll make a coffee after but so good i haven't had these in so long okay guys so i just finished breakfast now we're gonna make a cute little pumpkin cream cold foam moment starbucks dope i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do i'm kind of just gonna honestly freestyle this recipe i feel like it's gonna turn out good so i'm just gonna start off with my pumpkin i'm gonna open this can so i'm just gonna put like i don't know a spoon and maybe a bit in like that and then i'm gonna put in some maple syrup just a couple teaspoons and then now i'm just going to take my pumpkin pie spice and put in like a quarter teaspoon maybe like that much and then this is my homemade creamer that i made from almonds and cashews i will link the video where i put the recipe down below but now i'm just going to pour that in it's not like as thick as you would buy store-bought so it's not going to give like the same cold foam effect but honestly it's pretty close so it's, it'll be fine so now i'm just going to take my little hand frother and just froth it all together I'm just gonna use this cold brew. I just bought it at my local grocery store. I'm pretty sure you can find this one anywhere. Pretty good, honestly. Okay, so now I'm just gonna give this a little last minute stir. Now you just wanna pour it over. Like I said, I think this one's just gonna sink in because it's not thick enough, but. Mmm, that looks so good. Okay, now I'm just gonna top it up with some cinnamon. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So now this is the time of day where I kind of just write down my to-do list for today, look over what I have to do. Um, I go on my laptop, fill in my notion for my schedule, just take a look at that do emails like anything i need to do work wise if i need to edit catch up on some things reply to my management in the morning while i drink my coffee and this is just like kind of setting up my day and organizing everything this is essential because if i don't do this then i have no idea what i need to do for the day that way i make sure that i stay organized and i'm always on top of everything every single morning but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do right now also look at how cute my new fall background is that's a selfie in the little picture thing that's a selfie of my sister but how cute is my little pumpkin background i can't wait to go to the pumpkin patch in october So that is about it for my morning routine, you guys. But on the agenda today, I need to make a pumpkin pie because we're going over to Joel's house to do his family's Thanksgiving a week early, Canadian Thanksgiving. 
is early October, but Joel's family wants to celebrate it a week early. So I'm gonna make like a dairy-free, gluten-free pumpkin pie because I can't have dairy or gluten. So that's what I'm gonna whip up now. And I'm gonna show you guys the recipe just in case you want pumpkin pie inspo. And I obviously don't do this every morning, but I thought I would just include it in this vlog since it is a fall morning routine. So I feel like it would just be cute to bake a little pumpkin pie together. So yeah, this is my first time ever baking a dairy-free gluten-free pumpkin pie so wish me luck i just found the recipe on google so i hope it's good it has good reviews but i will let you guys know let's start baking it So here's how the pies turned out. I might even like top it with icing, whipped cream, or vegan ice cream. But this was just our little, um, there was more left. So I just put it in here to bake so we can taste it. And it's so good, you guys. Um, would definitely recommend. And these pie shells are pretty good for being gluten-free. Um, they held together nice and my mom has already bought them so I know that they taste good. I'm actually really happy because I thought I might not be able to have pumpkin pie this year so I am so happy about this. Mm -hmm. 